This is Tim Willis of Place Made Radio on the Voice Made Newsprint. This is Quick Models and Quick Designs. Um, today we're going to be looking at another one of the free Adobe products that we can make use of, and it is going to be Photoshop Express. Uh, Photoshop Express is a slim down version of full Photoshop program. Um, I believe it may have been once known as Photoshop Elements. I'm not sure about that. But in any case, it is made to make adjustments to photographs crop photographs, apply filters, and do basic fixes and transformation. I think it's a useful thing to have in your arsenal because it fits the gap between a pure graphics editor like Click Designs or Canva and a pure photo editor with all the bells and whistles like the full version of Photoshop. So I'm going to go through the Photoshop Express, show you it, how it basically works, and that will be it that let's go ahead and take a look at the video so i logged into adobe creative cloud and i did a video about the creative cloud earlier um, this is where we can access our apps and because adobe photoshop express is an app rather than a browser tool i'm recording this in the desktop capture instead of window capture and so anyway we are going to go to our apps here. Now, just, uh, before we do that, just mention that uh, Adobe Creative Cloud is free itself, as is Photoshop Express. You do need an Adobe ID to log in. Other than that, it costs you nothing. And Adobe Photoshop Express is free for both the desktop and mobile. Let's go ahead and click on apps. apps you'll see we have a pay on the rights is installed as we see press click on that that's we're going to open up the photoshop express it did now depending on when you last use it it may ask you to sign in again to uh, photoshop express just annoyance and nothing you can do about that this is what we'll see when we flick it on here. Of course, we've got a little button here. We can get push up press for mobile free. And then we have our choice of going to our pictures library or using our camera on our computer or our mobile device. We'll go ahead and go to pictures library in this case. Picture here that I've already picked out. Actually, I'm going to use this one here instead. So what we have here is Photoshop Express. It's not the first, it's not, it's not the full version of Photoshop and this will basically focused on photo correction and adjustments. The reason I'm sharing this, the reason why I'm doing this video is I feel that Photoshop Express fills a gap in your graphic centered tools like Click Designs or even Canva. Which do, of course, have tools for doing photos. But they're graphics editors. They're not specifically photo editors. And full range photo editor like Photoshop that, of course, can do graphical things, but it is focused on photos as opposed to something like Adobe Illustrator, which is much more graphics focused. So this kind of fills this gap to correction, color, brightness contrast and things and this will give us a capability we don't have in click 2.0 even though we now have the filter section where we can do some basic adjustments on things like brightness and contrast so i've got a picture here of a i think it's a telecaster but it's actually a broadcaster this first version of it telecaster you only made it one year and then they changed the name in any case what we're looking at here is our toolbar. We have a toolbar on the left, very much like click designs. Then we have a smaller toolbar up here at the top, again, very much like click designs. But our first tool here we have is looks, and this is going to be a series of filters in different subcategories like basic, charm, black and white, etc. So if we go to basic right now, see that we're now highlighted under normal. And we can change our settings, or filters rather, something like this. We'll choose spring. And 
and it makes it much brighter. We have a couple of things we can do. First of all, we have an auto and just do that at any time. Look at that later. We have an undo and a redo button. Got a zoom button. And we have this button here, which is called viewing original. So if you click on this, it will allow us to toggle back and forth the original photo we uploaded and the version of the photo that we have made with adjustments. Also notice down here that you do have a slider bar. So you can make adjustments that way. Well, if you're not quite happy with what it gives you. They're all, all right, it's almost turned the thing completely yellow, almost getting rid of wood, almost getting rid of wood grain completely. Back here, we get more of the wood grain. So it's that kind of effect. Basically, first I'm gonna go ahead and undo, go back to our original, back to normal. And we'll look at the other filters, like we have this one, arm. And this is just a series of filters we can apply. What else do we have here? We have black and white. We have portrait. We have nature. Pop color. We have duo tone. So, any number of filters you can play with there, and even though this is program centered on photographs, you could also take things like illustrations and put them in here as long as they're in photo format like JPEG or PNG. Anyway, that is the look section. Next, we have prop section. Prop, much like you've seen before. It does have presets for kinds of social media, so that's very one of the things I and it does have a straighten tool. Uh, we can rotate left, rotate right, flip it either vertically or horizontally. Uh, the one thing I really don't like about this, and of course, this is free program, so who am I to complain? Is that there's no control here which gives us the actual dimension in pixel. Right now, we're on free size and we haven't changed anything, so we can switch back to the original and the free size is right, it's the same right now. So the way we crop things, if we have our corner there, we can do it like that. So right now if we would do that. We'll kind of a little bit there. Now you can grab it back out, however you want. And anyway, that is what you can do with the crop tool. Basic crop tool. Like I said, I would prefer that they had something the dimension. They don't. Alright, our next tool is the corrections tool. And this works very much like the looks tool. It's going to be a set of corrections that are basically filters with some adjustment with a slider. So here we have light. So here is where we find our our contrast, our shadows, base, our exposures, which would be basically brightness. So we can do contrast like that. Slider bar, we can just thing. Here, and then we, what else do we have? Color. So, add for tint, saturation. Then we have some effects there. Sharpen. So you just have to look around here and you'll find anything you probably want here, blur. You just have to search around because they're putting everything in the subcategory instead of saying, hey, this is your contrast control. This is your brightness control. So, but it's a free program, what you want. All right, I'm gonna skip over this part about here right now. Move on to the red eye. 
Um, in basic red eye control, we can select it for people or pets. We have eyes on photograph here to do, but it basically select it, click it type thing. Right there, we can try to do a red eye adjustment to volume knob. Not much different going on there. All right, next we have borders. And this will just allow you to put some borders around your photograph. So we have basic here. So right now we're on normal. Use this vignette. Kind of put a shadow around the edges. Um, that's cool. You use the circle tool here. Put in a circle. And so on. Then we also could use one of these other subcategories under borders, so edges, other things there, and you have frames, just like a more matte frame kind of look. Anyway, play with them, have fun. That's what it is. Let's go back to our spot heel. This is a little different kind of tool. A little more advanced tool and the way it works is we're going to a brush size here make this 15 pixels let's go with 20. what we're going to do here we're going to try to fix errors in your pictures or blemishes i guess you would say and try to blend it in based on what's around that so we've got our brush size 20 here. Go ahead and click on this area right here. And you see there how it tried to blend it in with the surrounding wood on the fender broadcaster that was still a paint. So let's click it one more time here. Good, let's click here. All right, now it's starting to fall back on itself. But you see how you can use that spot heel, take off um, imperfections, blemishes, or whatever, and kind of blend it in with the picture. So that's kind of a cool little thing. Now, actually, that would be kind of undesirable in this case because we want this picture to look A's like a Fender Broadcaster from 1950. <laughs> You know, hey, there you go. And so now we can also go backwards and get back to our original like that. Okay, so that is all our tools there. We do have a settings button, which will allow us to have global preferences, like our share settings, our JPEG quality. And there's not a whole lot there. But there's a little bit you play. You could adjust our set rather. All right, let's look at our top toolbar here. We did look at some things. Let's go ahead and go to look. Make sure we're on normal for our setting. So we do have an auto enhance tool here. So if we click on that, it will try to automatically enhance the picture. I think that actually looks worse, but that's the way auto enhance tools generally work. So we'll change it back to what it was. Uh, we already showed the uh, viewing original tool, zoom, just a zoom, that slider, things. Find that sometimes Photoshop Express is a little sluggish, but I'm not sure where that's application itself or it's just my old refer computer. And then we have a save share button where we save it, share it, print it, basic. And here we have our account, a couple of things. Ironically, try Photoshop Elements. Click on that, it just brings us up something to Photoshop Express mobile app. So I guess maybe this used to be called Photoshop Elements. Which takes us back to same thing as settings. About it. Like, like I said at the video, 
Google Shop Express is a free app. You just need Adobe ID. And I just feel it's one of those apps that you have just because it kind of fills that gap in between a graphic editor and a fully fledged photo editor. And it gives us a bunch of quick presets here in the form of these filters that we can make quick, quick adjustments to a picture and get on with what it, what it was we were doing. So that's the video for today. My name is Tim Willis, certified funnel builder. I make tutorial and demonstration videos on click funnels, click designs, and other useful tools for funnel hackers and funnel hacking. That's it for today. I'll talk to you later.